Have you always been afraid of nasty dentists with their god-awful drills? In the world of fauna, there is at least one character who is ready to play ahead of the curve, making even the most beaten dentist afraid. Let us outline the situation. You come to the doctor, sit in a chair, open your mouth, and there is a meter-long chainsaw with 190 teeth of blades wrapped in three turns. And then you look at the name of the patient. And you re freaking out that a helicopterian has come to see you. The dentist who witnessed such a spectacle turned out to be a local historian of the Perm province, Besanov. In 1897, he found a spiral shaped fossil suspiciously resembling a cephalopod shell. That s what the scientist would have thought if teeth weren't teeth sticking out of the shell. Already another dentist, paleontologist Karpinski, announced to the whole world that this is not a toothy snail but a shark-like Paleozoic fish helicoprion, which lived and died forever 300 million years ago, that s just where the shark has toothed spiral was, where the poor fish just did not attach it, on the nose, tail, and even on the back. There was no end to the torments of paleontologists, until in the 30s they found the closest brother of our mysterious person, Sarcoprion. He was also a great lover of construction tools. He wore his carpentry on his lower jaw. And then, as they say, the mosaic formed. The same Sarcoprion. Compared to our hero, he is more studied, but his spiral is no match for the helicoprionic one. Or not? Disputes about where and how the Jorolden to a ram's horn was located continue to this day. Only in 2008. A more or less working hypothesis was found. It is assumed that the spiral is the pharyngeal teeth. That is, they were inside the mouth, they were not visible until the fish opened its throat properly. The complete remains of the helicoprion have not yet been found, so the appearance of this mysterious nonsense is based only on guesswork. But the laws of hydrodynamics in healthy teeth, without wear and damage, somehow confirm the hypothesis of 2008. A model created in 2008. And, it would seem, this torpedo with a formidable weapon at the ready, like a maniac with a chainsaw, was supposed to kill everyone who dares to fart nearby, and how can you not fart at the sight of this? But appearances are deceptive. The mouth of the helicopterian could not grind solid food. Therefore, the shark ate soft bunnied squid and shrimp. Well, then why a chainsaw? We will ask and scientists will only shrug their shoulders vaguely. Digging up shellfish with such a device from the bottom of the sea will not work. But you are always welcome to chopped tentacles and squid carcasses.